Hello, welcome back to Craft Time. This is our second video craft tie-in with the Dolly Library Storytime programs. We're going to make snowflake art today. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. Let's get started. So for today's craft, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need a sheet of paper, but we're also going to want salt. Um, we're going to need a lot of salt, too, so I have a bunch on hand. We need some regular school glue. We're going to want a pencil or pen and a paintbrush. And we're going to make some colored dye using food coloring and water. To begin, we're going to want to draw a snowflake pattern onto our blank sheet of paper. I prefer to use a pencil to do this, um, but you can use a pen if that is what you have available. You should allow your children to do this part themselves. They should have full creativity to design whatever snowflake they would like. I do want to caution though that bigger is better. The larger the snowflake pattern, the easier it will be to uh, trace over it with glue in the next step. I'm going to add a little bit more detail to my snowflake. Here we go. For the next part of this craft, we're going to need to trace over the snowflake pattern with glue. I'm using regular bottled school glue. There are glue pens that might work very well for this sort of craft, but you don't necessarily need that. I do want to recommend that you be very deliberate and slow in applying the glue. You don't want to create big splotches because it will affect how the final product looks at the end. Um, this might be a difficult part of the craft for younger children in particular, so you know, be mindful to help out younger children when tracing the snowflake pattern. Also, have your salt on hand so that when you're finished gluing, you can immediately apply the salt to the paper. To save on mess and cleanup, I'm going to place my sheet of paper inside of a high-sided pan. We're now going to sprinkle salt across the entirety of our freshly glued snowflake pattern. The salt will adhere to the glue, and we will have a crystallized look to our snowflake when this is finished. Do cover your snowflake completely and make sure all the glue is covered with salt. Once you've applied all of the salt, you want to shake off the excess so that we don't have large clumps. Go ahead and let that dry. You want to let it sit for at least 30 minutes before we move on to the next step. The next part of the craft is the most fun. We're going to paint our snowflakes. To do this, I'm going to use gel-based food coloring of the sort that you could find at any grocery store, and I'm going to mix it with a couple tablespoons of water. You don't need a lot of water for this, and the more food coloring you apply, the more intense the color is going to be. I used about three or four drops. So go ahead and get your paintbrush very wet and apply the wet paintbrush gently to the salt. You will see the salt absorb the color. Part of the fun of this craft is watching the way the water spreads through your design and is absorbed by the salt. And here is a finished snowflake. I hope you and your children enjoy this craft and I hope you have fun experimenting with different colors to make beautiful snowflake art. Thank you for joining me and happy crafting.